presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to our man, Al in Homo Sasa. What's going on, brother? It's, isn't it wonderful? I went ahead and invested in your uh, Tiger Dollars. <laughs> and I went ahead and got the gold report <laughs> for a year. And, and also your, morning, your, your call letter and stuff like that. Like that and I got over a 50% return in one day not counting uh, everything else but I just want to thank you Tom's not perfect but he tells you how to put your stops in and he keeps your losses small you can take your small losses but then all of a sudden you'll be like Dave Root and you'll hit a home run I mean a big home run yeah and put the money in your pocket okay I mean, brother I you're awesome man thank you now Tom O'Brien <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Don't make assumptions. Ask for what you want. Find the courage to ask for what you want. Others have the right to tell you yes or no, but you always have the right to ask. Likewise, everyone has the right to ask you for what they want, and you have the right to say yes or no. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 297, NASDAQ's up 39, S&P's up 18 and a half. Gold, gold contract up $24.90, straight into 2207. We got silver down 13 cents, $24.97 an ounce. Late sweet crude off 32 cents, $80. 95 cents a barrel, notes and bonds. A 10-year note, down two ticks, trading 110.12. The 30-year up five at 118.31 in King Dollar. This is the move. It's, it's amazing that the S&Ps are up with a move like this, folks. But the bottom line, King Dollar's up 624 ticks, trading at 104.012. Euro's at 108. Yen's at 151.69. The British Pound's at 126 to 1 U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877. 9276648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the SPs, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, bottom line, you have higher price. You have the contraction of volume happening. Uh, but you know, the way this shakes out, you know, when you're coming into a Friday, folks, okay, and you've had a winning week, it's pretty hard to go down to lower levels. You know, that's how this shakes out. I mean, uh, Monday, Tuesday, we were doing sideways. Yesterday we go higher. You know, volume wasn't that big. Today is going to be another contraction of volume. My take is we're still going higher. We're at 522. That ABC and the SPY is 525, I believe. So we're three points away from it right now. The Qs, same type of setup inside the Qs. You're going high. You got a contraction. Right now, we're up 257. You're at 446. And I got to do the numbers on the Qs again because the numbers on the Qs are a lot higher than uh, the S&P. Notes and bonds. Let's go to the 10-year note. Let's take a look at the 10-year note out here. So if we take a look at the 10-year note, this is flat out here today. Yesterday, traded sideways. 1.5 million contracts. You need more contract volume than that to get to higher price. You know, so we got up to the 110.26. You got some volume yesterday, but not enough. This, this, this needs... Yesterday, we had 1.8. It's got to run into 2.2s, 2.3s in order to basically stay at higher price. And King Dollar, we get over to King Dollar, we look at King Dollar. So King Dollar popped inside the higher range again. Yep, sure did. And we'll see where this baby shakes out. But right now it's uh, trying to stay inside this higher range. 104.054 was the high. And we're at zero 14, so you're still right up there, man, you know, and it's just amazing, actually, that uh, the S&Ps are staying higher with King Dollar going like this. We go to the gold contract. We take a look at gold. Now, gold's in an ABC structure up to 25.50, folks. That's only a one-to-one. -one. Um, you can see 
you know, it gave up quite a bit today. We went to 225. You're at 2185. That being said, watch when you put this up here. <laughs> you know, you're going to have a higher high with volume behind the move. So we're going right back topside. And you can see this is a decisive break, man. I mean, we we broke in spades now. You know, so this game is on in a big way. I mean, 2550 is only, uh, what, 300, 400, yeah, 3 350, 350, 400 points away, which is not a lot. <laughs> we just went, let's see, what is this, a monthly? So in a monthly, 3.6, we just went from 1,800 to 22.25. We go look at the silver contract. Let's see what we got with silver out here. Okay. Oh, this is nice. 100,000 contracts in silver. That's big contract volume, folks. That's monster contract volume, actually. Yeah, big time. Now, this is a last engulfing, so this gets interesting. So, a last engulfing, folks, okay? Let's see. No, no, it's not, because you had to start lower and go higher. Yeah, this is a bearish engulfing. Yeah. So... We started higher and went lower. That's a bearish engulfing versus the last engulfing. So we'll see if we get a little pullback here. But the bottom line is that uh, what, what we do have is that we have higher price, you have higher volume, and when you have higher price and higher volume, most times you go pop right back topside ASAP. We get over to Apple, and uh, everyone's taking a bite out of Apple. There's no doubt. The Justice Department now, you got up, you're down seven bucks at 171. You got an expansion of volume, and uh, you know we'll see where this shakes out. But as I've said, you know many times, the last time that Apple had any volume on the way up, you don't even want to hear this. It's like at seventy-six bucks. So, <laughs> you know, um, we'll see where this shakes out. But the bottom of the consolidation is one twenty-four. You're at one seventy-one, and there's just no volume up here, man. I mean, this this no doubt. Took off top side, stayed top side, went up, tested, tested again. Let me bring this closer, actually. I want to see what this test is. Because this is, okay, so on the highs, the sun of monthly, we did 996. Oh, versus 1 billion. Okay. That's not bad. That's not bad, but, the, you know, meaning that the second high actually took out the first high with volume. And that's, that's good news. Except, oh, I see what's going on. One second, hold it. I had to go back further because you know what's going on? All the way back in, oh, my God, December 2022. This was a test of the highs and a failure. We, would do, we did 2.1 billion and 2.4 billion, and we tested that with 980 and 1 million, on 1 billion. We're going to the bottom of this consolidation, which is 124 which is where 172. That would be like shocking. <laughs> but guess what? That's what it's saying. Pretty amazing. Dow, Dow Industrials right now up 296. You get the NASDAQ up 54, S&P's up 20. Stay right there, folks, come right back. spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in a fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. 
This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk. So why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow just is up 308. NASDAQ's up 60. S&P's up 22. Uh, now, Reddit. Reddit went uh, public, folks, and they, they, they got everything out of this, man. There's no doubt. They went public at 34, I believe. Let's get this up. Because, yeah, 22 million shares. Where are you? Yeah, let's see. Reddit. There we go. So the symbol, RDD2, trading 49 bucks. So picture, they, they went out at 34, 22 million shares, left. <laughs> and with this one went up to 57, so they left a, left a lot of money on the table. Um, that being said, um, let's take a look at this intraday. Yeah, so you, you popped at the open, went up to 57, came all the way down to 45, and um, there'll, there'll be a lot of action in this equity, there's no doubt about it. So at this particular level, let's just see what they're saying. Okay, so the float's 36.9 million. This is amazing, man, that they already get a market cap of $7.8 billion. And let's see what they take in. Well, they're going to have estimates, I think. Yeah. Okay, so they don't, have, they don't make money. But, man, they take in money. Holy cow. Look at this. So picture this, in 2021, they took in 484 million. The 2024, 1.2 billion. That's, that's some numbers, man. Uh, right now on the other side of the balance sheet, though, I don't see them making any money. Well, they, just, they don't have it here. So we'll see where this old baby shakes out. But uh, as our man, Mr. Dave White, would say, this was a sliver deal. And... Um, Man, they left a lot of money on the table, though. 34, 40, 15 bucks times 22 million. How's that? That is a big number, folks. Okay, then you get Micron. Um, Micron came out with numbers last night. This thing blew topside in a monster way. It's up 14 bucks. We put, this is probably a large ABC structure up too. It's blowing everything away. Yep, it is. Okay, so let's see what this is. It's probably already finished it. 101, oh, it's 20 bucks, 22 bucks. That gives you, well, not, it's not done yet. Oh, yes, it is, 
<laughs> Look at that's crazy. It's twenty two bucks. It was basically one twelve to one thirteen, and they got this in one day. And that's what you do see happen, which is pretty wild. I put this on. Yeah, see when you put this text there. Check this out. This is 98. What's the bottom of this? Oh my God. So you're talking 50. That's, that's saying this thing's going to go to like 140. That's how this thing is set up right now, which is pretty amazing. Um, big number. Let's get over to our man, Mr. Tim Wood, folks, as every Tuesday and Thursday. And don't forget, folks, you can get hold of Tim every trading day at ORD, O R D hyphen oracle, O-R-C-L-E dot, dot com. That's odd hyphen oracle dot com. Tim Wood, what's going on, brother? Actually, you left me behind here. I got out of the market here, I don't know, a week or so ago, and and it kept going up. But we'll, we'll kind of look where we are right now. Uh, you got chart one up? Yes, okay, we'll get that up. Yeah, hey, listen, man, it's a tricky market. The thing that's amazing, I mean, you know, well, I'm sure we're going to talk about gold, too, but you see that move. That move was pretty spectacular, man. <laughs> yeah, it came out on uh, news, which I'm always, uh, you know, whenever something moves on news, normally that move is kind of ending move. So we'll have to wait and see. But, you know, let's go to chart one. This is kind of a repeat. Okay. Nothing's really changed. Yep. But, um, you know, last February, the market closed. Uh, half fifty percent of the market closed above the upper Bollinger Band. And I circled in in uh, red circles the times that has happened in the past. And this month's not over yet. But if you look at, we're almost uh, kind of eyeballing that. We're probably eighty eighty percent above the upper Bollinger Band. Okay. So I'm still thinking we're, we're going to get into a, a consolidation. Um. Uh, so you, it just doesn't really last. You can take this chart back to uh, 1980, and you'll pretty much about 90 percent of the time, every time you close above the 50 percent above the upper Bollinger Band, usually the next month is at least a consolidation. Right. So I'm still thinking uh, you're probably still going to consolidate here. So let's, let's flip to chart two. Okay. And uh, we talked about this before, and you kind of got to wait on this chart a little bit. This is the uh, the top window is the 10-day RSI. Next window down is the SPX tilt ratio. And so it measures the velocity of that ratio going up and down. When it gets up around uh, plus 70, and earlier on Tuesday, it was only about uh, 67, uh, 68, wasn't to 70. We're now at 74, 73.72. And normally, I always told myself it has to be above 70. I think, well, 67, 68 is close enough. Well, it's not. It really should be above 70. I see. Okay. So, anyhow, uh, all the times going back here, the blue lines are shows times when it's at 70 or higher. And so now we're at 70, almost 74. So you got some evidence now that you probably are going to at least stall here short term. Um, and so let's, let's go down to those because that's the daily chart. So yeah. you got the now you get it up above seventy. You're up almost seventy four. So let's go to the hourly chart on on um, uh, chart three. Okay. And uh, okay, this is kind of a uh, you know the, the middle window is the VIX, and the top window is the is an hour chart. So this is an hour. So we're going. You know, from the monthly to the daily down to the hourly. So this is an hourly chart. And so the top window is the RSI for the VIX. Uh, and right below that is the VIX. Below that is the uh, hourly SPY. And below that, second window up from the bottom, is the hourly uh, percent volume or Bollinger Band. And below that is a rate of change, a three period rate of change for. All of this is for the VIX. So what you're doing is is you're measuring the acceleration of the VIX, either up or down. So when actually when the VIX goes down too fast, it's actually bearish. If it goes up too fast, it's actually bullish. So anyhow, the VIX really took a dive here over the last couple of days, and the VIX coming in today is below 30. We're at 26.65, and also the percent uh, Bollinger Band did hit below the lower Bollinger Band, and it got down below minus 25. In other words, it fell 
actually below the lower Bollinger band. But the bottom one didn't match. But you only need two or three uh, to line up. So on a short-term basis here, you, you got acceleration to the VIX to the downside, which is too much goodness, I guess you may. It's, it's uh, just like when the VIX goes up too fast. It's when the VIX goes down too fast, it's actually bearish for the market. So it really kind of zoomed up. So you're probably at a, my guess, you're probably hitting a, a short-term high. And my guess would be today. I hear the music. Okay, stay right there, folks. Tim and Tom, we're going to be coming right back. We have the Dow at 304, NASDAQ at 50, S&P's up 20. We're coming right back, folks. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of Basil's educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters Letters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 Days Risk-Free today. TFNN, educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. This portion of the Tom O'Brien Show is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Tim Hoyt, Tom O'Brien. We do appreciate your growling and prowling with us out here. We have the Dow Industrials right now at 329. You get the Nasdaq up 60. S&Ps are up 23. And the chart, I have the third chart up, Tim. All right. So, anyhow, I'm, I'm thinking this is probably a, a short-term high here. So, uh, like right where we are right high, now, you're uh, saying, but, right? You know, it could last several days or something like that. Yeah. So let's, let's go to chart four. Okay. 
And so, let's flip, okay, this flips back to the bigger picture. This chart works really uh, pretty well. And this is the weekly, uh, S, uh, the SPY, and the top window is a 14 period RSI on the weekly time frame. So it's actually a momentum chart. And so it measures the momentum. So if this chart goes back to 2009, but when the RSI on the weekly time frame gets to 80 to 85, has to be in that range, which is we're 80.19 right now, so we're in that range. Normally, that's never the final high. The final highs usually have RSI most likely less than 70. You'll see a big divergence in, um, in continuity to the upside. But 80 is basically a confirmation that it will be it will never be the final high. So what that says is if you do get a pullback, you want to buy the pullback. So I listed all the times okay. in the past with red lines uh, that when the RSI hit 80, uh, a lot of times you get a mild consolidation right when you do hit 80 in that vicinity. You get a pullback, then the market goes on and makes higher highs. So it kind of reinforces the idea that this year is going to be an up year, but short term you can see a consolidation. So, But nothing significant. You know, I'm, I was hoping to get, you know, the trend we kept, you know, I'm a big guy of, of panic. Yeah. And the more panic you have, the, the better it is and the stronger the bottom. And we really haven't, you know, we had some pullbacks. You got trends a couple of days or three, four days ago. You got the 1.26, but didn't really have any downtick readings with it. So I didn't take that trade and, you know, the market took off. But uh, I'm thinking it needs a little bit more. Uh, like the 10-day trend needs to get up to around 1.2 to you really get some energy back into the market where it can start going for a number of weeks. And so I'm hoping this next pullback we may get something like that. 10-day trends coming in right around now is like about 1, like uh, maybe 101. It's, it's pretty neutral, not getting a lot of information. Okay. So, so I, today I like to get up around 1.2. Right. And today we're at 1.31 again. Now, yeah. get, what gets interesting here, folks, okay? Now, let me ask you this, Tim, right? You know, I, I know you, you're looking for the consolidation, and I know we've been higher, but this is almost seems to me like a, like a consolidation. Do you know what I'm saying? Because, like, we're, we're at highs, right? And if I look at the S&P, right. I mean, I know we're higher than we were, like, you know, three or four weeks ago, but not that much, man. You know, uh -huh. so, like... No, well, no that's why I'm hoping to. Actually, if you do a daily... I don't have a chart to show that, but if you do a daily uh, Bollinger Band on the SPY, yeah. we're actually above that Bollinger Band, right up, uh, uh, higher above the Bollinger Band, and a lot of times that really slows down the market. You want it to actually stay right below the upper Bollinger Band yeah. and kind of just feed up to it. You know? No, no, exactly. But once you right. start going above it, which we are right now, we actually closed above it yesterday, and we're 100% above the upper Bollinger Band as we're talking right now. Yeah, and I have uh, the so, chart up too, Tim. I just put it up. I know I can see that. And if as you look right. all the way back, oh, that's interesting. Though. Yeah. If I look back three months yeah. ago, it went above it, then it just went down and then just took off again. Interesting. Uh, it never... Yeah, you, 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 you kind of... It's kind of a momentum study. You kind of, you, a lot of times you'll hesitate, you know, yeah, get back know. below the mid Bollinger <laughs> Band, and then it, you know you get some nervous or you get some trend readings pretty high. You yeah. get, you know, get long again, but it's it's kind of trends up. It's just you know, yes. I, I think we may see a, a mild consolidation here. So, right, uh, how much? You know, I, I got a there's a gap way back in February. Uh, I like know about <laughs> around February twentieth, twenty first or 22nd maybe i thought that gap would make it filled but it didn't even touch it so yeah but, but that as, may happen as, later you know maybe in september or something well I that's and what tim's talking yeah. about folks when we were talking about this you know when this gap appeared and if you're a bull it would be would have been a lot better if this gap got filled prior to now because <laughs> the higher right. we go this gap's going to get filled, man. I mean, because this this is that's a very large gap for the for the S and P's, man. I mean, right? You know. Yeah, it is. I, I noticed before, or a lot of times, sometimes after major bottoms, you gap up, and they call them breakaway gaps. If yes. Coming off of a bottom, those gaps a lot of times don't even get filled. A lot of people, oh, I got to wait right. for the gap to fill. Right. But if you find a gap in the middle of a trading range, yeah. 
most of those get filled, and this one is kind of like in the middle of a trading range. No, it is. So, it is. So, so if you think you missed the you trend, see. folks, okay, the bottom line, just be patient. <laughs> because yeah. it might be September or October because, you know, that's how, that's how it shakes out. So that'll be here before yeah. we know it, which is pretty amazing. All right. Do you want to go on? Yep, I'm ready. All right. Uh, chart uh, number five. Okay. Uh, kind of show this. This is this is my opinion. This is the chart that defines bull and bear markets for GDX. Okay. Because it, it defines the up down up down volume and advanced decline for GDX, and that's pretty much all. It that's the whole ball sure. of wax for technical analysis for GDX. You got to have volume, and you got to have uh, advanced decline. So this is a monthly. Uh, advanced decline that which which, which you see the bottom yeah bottom window is a monthly up down volume for GDX. Second window up is an advanced decline for GDX. Bull markets are in progress when both those uh, two indicators, bottom two indicators, are above the mid Bollinger band. And so, even though the market really hasn't done a lot of damage, it has gone down since 2021, which I think is drawing a head and shoulders bottom here, but. But it's still not above the mid Bollinger band, right? So, so how do you get above the mid Bollinger band? So, you got to look at the next chart, which is the weekly up down volume of okay. decline indicators. And for some reason, even though we had a pretty, well, we had a really good rally off of that low we had here, you know, um, a couple of weeks ago or actually yeah. about a month ago. But uh, so far, both those indicators, which is the up down, this is on a weekly time frame okay. now, up down volume advanced client indicators are still not above the, the mid Bollinger band. So, uh, so this rally needs to hold here, if not move higher, to start turning some of these charts up. Right. So that's the reason why you don't want to fall back here, because it's just going to remain in a yep. kind of doldrum what what it's been in uh, for the last actually pretty close to a year now. Uh, you got some, but I'm thinking we are going to do that because I got some indicators that we showed on your show that are multi-month indicators. That was, we had one on uh, Tuesday we talked about, which is the uh, I think it was a weekly RSI for the uh, XAU gold ratio. Okay, just so, stay right oh. there. Stay right there. Tim and I come right back, folks. We have the Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading up uh, 297. Nasdaq's up 42. S&P's up 19. Tim and I come right back, folks. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Dot com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter. 
a must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Tom O'Brien, Tim Wood, we do appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 301, NASDAQ's up 46, S&Ps are up 20, and we are looking right now at the GDX. Right, GDX, which is uh, the weekly GDX. Yeah. And um, so what we need here is for GDX to actually hold here, if not move higher. Okay. To get these indicators back above the, the uh, mid-Bollinger bands. And so the weekly and monthly are not there yet. But uh, chart number seven, which is, uh, this is the same chart, the up-down volume advanced client indicators again. And the dailies are above this, and you know the Bollinger Bands are turned up, so the dailies are on a buy signal, uh, but the weeklies and monthlies are not yet. I see. So, um, so we need, you know, more than anything. I guess you mean, I guess it would be fine if the market didn't even move from here, as long as it just stayed here, and have time for these indicators to bend up. Uh, obviously, a rally would also do it. But uh, and I'm thinking that's what's going to happen. If you remember on Tuesday, we were talking about the uh, weekly RSI for the XAU gold ratio getting below 30. Yes. Those, that's, those signals on, on that scale are multi-month signals. So, right. And we got a signal, I think it was in late February or early March, on that signal. So I'm thinking we're probably going to at least rally into July. And uh, I'm hoping, if that time frame is accurate, that the monthly, going back to uh, page five again, will get the monthly back up to mid Bollinger Bands, not above it. And once we get above it, normally it, it doesn't really whip through it back and forth. You go back to uh, chart number five. Yeah, I have it. Yeah, yeah so, and once you get above it or below it, it usually stays there. So it doesn't like whip back and forth, you know, bicycle, cell cycle, bicycle, like some of these other short term indicators. So once they get a button, plus it's been three years in a downtrend, you know, uh, yes. previous times. Uh, so chances are, if it gets above there, we've, we've had enough consolidation going sideways. If you look at the top chart, which is GEX chart, you know, we really haven't moved a lot since 2021, more or less. You know, it's, it's gone down to look like it's low as maybe 20, yeah, about 20. High has been maybe 35. You know, it's a big range, but on a monthly time frame, that's fairly narrow. So I'm, I'm thinking, you know, the sideways move, which I'm going to call it compared to other times on this chart, you know, will finally break out and finally get going, in my opinion, to the upside because uh, we really can't get any lower on the uh, up-down volume advanced client indicators. We're matching, you know, pretty close to the 16 lows. Of, you know, if you compare where the price lows of both those indicators are, we're in the vicinity of those lows now. And that was a, a major bear market from the 2012 to 2016. So price-wise, we're in that region right now. Yeah, that's what I was just going to ask you, Tim, because it seems to me when we look at that ratio, right? So price-wise is probably up there. We just don't have the up-down volume to go along with it, huh? That's what it seems like. I'm trying to figure that out. You yeah. know what I'm saying? When you do the ratio. The ratio, the, the well, which, which ratio? The, the GDX, the, you know, that... Uh, oh, the up-down volume? Yeah. 
Right, because right. price yeah. were there, but uh, and this was so cool about the ratios that Tim does, folks, okay? Because the it, it's showing the up down volume would show you the underlying strength. You know, we know we can get you can get price going both ways and price is everything. There's no doubt about that. But the bottom line is that if you're pushing price and you don't have the more buyers than sellers, volume. well, guess what, man? <laughs> Just a matter of when it's going to pull back. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Right. But yeah, but I just noticed that too because you know we're, we got a lot of damage in the market because um, what I'm saying you know the up down volume is back to where it was at the 2016 low was it, which was a yeah. you know the market just took off like a rocket. Right. And if you look at the next one higher, the advanced decline, you know it's not quite didn't touch that 2016 low, but it's pretty much there also. Yes. I mean, you really want. Uh, just you know, when things get too too good to be true, they usually are. And when things can't get any worse, which we're kind of in that vicinity right now, according to the up down volume advanced client indicators, because you're matching the 2016 low. Right. I mean, things are already have been through a lot of damage, and you basically on a bigger time frame, you've been on a sell signal since 2021. I know. You had some bounces uh, short term that lasted, you know, a couple of months or so. But I'm looking for the rally that's going to last, you know, one or two or three or four years. No, I and know. I think, we're, I think we're setting up for that. You know what's wild, too, Tim, yeah. that we haven't talked about that much, and, and we know, I know you know this upside down, but the correlation between, you know, the, the price of gold, you know, and then the ratio of normally how, how these gold equities take off versus the actual price of gold. And we haven't right. had that yet either. I mean, that, that's, I'm sure that, that's something that's inside of this. But normally, folks, okay, you know, <laughs> uh, the ratio, you know, if gold's up $10, then, you know, the, the bottom line is that the, the equities, you could almost do a 3x on the price of gold. And we haven't seen that, you know, so. Right. Exactly right. That's what that, if you, uh, you probably don't have twosies. Uh, but we had that chart on the XAU gold ratio. Yes. We had that weekly time frame. We did an RSI study on it. And that gave a, uh, so, the, you know, that, that ratio went right through the floor going into that February or early March low because the RSI got below 30. Right. So that's kind of a washed out situation. So oh. we reached extremes to the downside on the monthly RSI for that ratio. And that ratio is turning up now, but they're really in bull markets. Gold stocks usually outperform gold. And right now, so far anyhow, gold's still outperforming gold stocks. We need that ratio to start performing to the upside. And yes. we, we had the selling climax uh, on the RSI on that ratio here recently, so that's washed out. So this move will tell the story. And you know what I just um, did, Tim? I just brought up the chart you're talking about from Tuesday, okay? So I have it in front of me. So let's just go through this again for a second. Okay, because this is cool. Go ahead. I brought, I brought uh, up the, that, I, that RSI. Okay, I, I, I have to do it by memory because I, I oh, don't know. Yeah, it's, no, it's that, that's all right. I, you, can, you don't have to go through the chart, but it's just, just, yeah, this is pretty cool, though. Okay. Right, but that that chart's very important. So, when that ratio's or when that ratio's going down, gold stocks are underperforming gold. I get it. Cool. Up, uh, okay. Gold so in bull markets, you actually can see on that ratio in the past. Yes. When the, when that ratio was going up, you were in a bull market. Oh yeah. And so we just so we just turned the corner here. We had a washout move in the RSI. That ratio went right through the floor. Yep. So. Things are relatively cheap now. For that bull market to get going, that ratio needs to continue higher. This is and wild, man, because, you know, some of these equities, I mean, they've, they've taken off pretty good for this to be that low. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. So, so I'm hoping, you know, since we got the uh, RSI there, you know, and, the, and if you notice, you, you measure that time. I think also that ratio, when it got the minimum upside, that ratio rallied was back to 0.7. Yep. That's the reason I got that red line pointed there. Oh, I see it. So yeah, yes, at, yes, yes. At minimum, we go there. Nice. Huge. So I'm hoping. Well, that's a beautiful thing. Tim Ward, it's always a pleasure, pal. You have a great right. weekend, safe weekend, and we look forward to speaking to you next Tuesday. All right. Talk to you then. Okay, man. Right. Stay right there, folks. Right. Come right back.
The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento. A pro's pro with over 50 years of experience, Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter. A must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating Investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow's up 296, Nasdaq's up 45, S&Ps are up 20. And folks, if you haven't uh, come into the Tiger's Den yet, Please do, okay? We only we charge a dollar for the year, one a buck, so we don't have any scams in there. Um, but you get, a, you know, we have about right, seven or eight hundred people in there right now, um, but that that signed up. Uh, it's always active. The reason I'm bringing this up, uh, our man Dan uh, just gave me a heads up. So check this out, man. And I'm telling you, man, I've seen this before. Now this is outlandish, okay? But the bottom line, he's right. If we get 40 million shares tomorrow inside of the SPY, uh, bottom line, it's going to be a weekly ABC up in the SPY with a, <laughs> you want to hear this one, with a 560. Because this is a straight line move. ABC structures on the way up or the way down, folks, are straight line moves. Now, what does happen, now check this out. This is pretty cool. So the A to B is a straight line move. B to C can drive you crazy. So what could happen here is this. We have the first straight line move, okay? You get the confirmation, then it drives everyone crazy and consolidates, you know, for, it can consolidate for two or three months, okay? Bang! The, the bigger issue is that I suspect we're going to get the 40 million, and you actually are going to have the ABC up to 560, and that's what you want to remember, because uh, <laughs> this is about a straight line move as you can get. And I just want to look at this for a second. So you got 409. This is sick. Yeah, so you get 109. I'd even get a bigger one. 109. That's six. That's six. <laughs> that's okay. So 
<laughs> Dan, I got, I'm in the 600s here. Um, oh, I see what you're doing. I got it from here. Okay, cool. Let's do it this way. He, the, the, this is the way it should be done. Anyway, yeah, so 66 up to, yeah, so 36, 46, 52. Yeah, and then 52. That's it. Yeah, 560. That's, that's correct. That's correct. Hold on to the ride, folks. It's going to be a heck of a 2024. Always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out, the bull can run you over, and thank God there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off at 9 a.m. Great show, folks. Go get him, folks. Go get him, folks.